This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever inside the vehicle. Pull the hood safety latch outward, then raise the hood. Apply the handbrake, then raise the front of the vehicle and support it on the jack stands. Using a socket and a ratchet, or a box end wrench, loosen the drain plug about half a turn without removing it. Position the drain pan under the drain plug, then remove the plug completely. Keep the drain plug pressed into the oil pan while unscrewing it by hand the last couple of turns. Recover the sealing washer from the drain plug. Allow some time for the old oil to drain, noting that it may be necessary to reposition the container as the oil flow slows to a trickle. After the oil has drained, wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag and install a new sealing washer. Clean the area around the drain plug opening, then reinstall the plug. Tighten the drain plug to the specified torque. Move the container into position under the oil filter. Using an oil filter wrench if necessary, loosen the filter initially, then unscrew it by hand the rest of the way. Empty the oil in the filter into the container. Use a clean rag to remove all oil, dirt, and sludge from the filter sealing area of the engine. Check the old filter to make sure that the rubber gasket has not stuck to the engine. If it has, carefully remove it. Apply a light coating of clean engine oil to the gasket on the new filter. Then screw it into position on the engine. Tighten the filter firmly by hand only. Do not use any tools. Remove the drain pan and all tools from under the car. Lower the vehicle. Unscrew the oil filler cap from the valve cover. Fill the engine using the correct grade and type of oil. Remove the dipstick and wipe it clean. Insert the dipstick fully, then pull it out of the engine and check the oil level. Add oil a little at a time until the level reaches the upper mark on the dipstick. Adding around one quart will bring the level from the lower mark to the upper mark on the dipstick. Reinstall the filler cap and insert the dipstick. Start the engine and run at idle speed for a few minutes. Check for leaks around the oil filter and the oil drain plug. Note that there may be a few seconds delay before the oil pressure warning light goes out when the engine is started. Turn off the engine and wait a few minutes for the oil to drain back into the oil pan once more. Recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil if necessary. Dispose of the used oil safely.